Morning everybody. Lots of fertiliser deliveries this week, so let's talk fertiliser. So, why, if we're regenerative practitioners, are we unloading artificial fertiliser? Well, approximately 50% of the home farm is now in full low input system. The remainder and our contract farms only practice the best features and lessons learned from the regenerative side. So, after I finish this lorry, let's take a look at the compost options available. So the next stop on our nutritional journey is compost. So this is municipal compost, so uh, council or industrial compost. It's quite a nice product. This has been aged a year in a field. However, it has a lot of plastic in it. And you know, this is what we really, or at least, you know, that's not plastic, that's a bit of a mug or something like that. There's lots of foreign material in it, which is why we're not really happy with this. So what we're also trying to make is our own version of compost. Of course, the great advantage of this bulk municipal compost is price and the fact that you can get hold of large quantities. So that obviously balances the uh, plastic and foreign contamination. The other point is that it's very dark, demonstrating that it's very um, bacterial dominant in, the, in its production process. So it hasn't got that much fungal element. This will be better stuff now that it's been left for a year. It's the fungal element that takes longer and uh, doesn't respond so well to turning. So this is one of our sort of larger scale trials where we've experimented with mixing different products together to see what happens. Um, so most of this is a mix of wood chip and turkey uh, turkey muck high litter turkey muck um so i'm gonna run through it it's been stored here for a year um it hasn't it's been occasionally turned with a, a forklift but not with a compost turner we have a little bit of an issue here where we put it in the wrong place um so next time we just need to we acknowledge we need more space to move stuff in future but let's have a dig around and I'll show you what we've learnt. So this is municipal compost mixed with um, wood chip. You can see it's still, we've still got plenty of plastic and contamination in here. But uh, earthworms are in uh, all over the place in it, which is a good sign. Um, this sort of black sort of organic matter, this is what sort of I'm looking for. I'd like to see more of 
more of that. You know, there's a lot of talk about, you know, this requiring a lot of nitrogen to break down. Um, that is true if you're trying to break it down with bacteria, but I'm looking to break it down with fun fungi, increasing the fungal load in my soil. So I don't mind uh, relatively high percentages of wood chip because it, it, it's the food source for the fungi and therefore it will help change the ratio in, of fungal to bacterial ratio in my soils. So this is wood chip with a turkey muck mix. We're getting a good black, look at all the worms. It would be, it, I wish they would survive a compost spreader. But anyway, um, it's sort of organic, there's organic matter, black organic matter between the wood chip. So definitely the greener your wood chip is, the better your uh, organic content. And I will show that to you in a different trial pit we've got here. This is more, this is more mucky, muck based. You see lots of worms, but it's not breaking down like this is because it hasn't got the air pockets. So this is really where this pile's failed because if it had if it had been turned more often you'd have a more consistent product. So you need to mix the wood chip and the muck elements. So this heap is probably a good example that of a, it's near the end. Um, it's been mixed more often and it's I mean, it's a lovely consistency. It would be akin to garden centre, and that is mostly that's mostly um, muck-based. Um, still plenty of worms. Muck, I can't. There is some wood in it, but not that. But not too much. It's quite. It's quite moist. They say that you, it should be moisture content should be wet but when you squeeze it you can't quite get water to run out which i'd say is probably a fair consistency there so this is our green waste pile this is uh, contributions from uh, local gardeners and uh, garden contractors so uh, let me turn you around and sh give you a closer look at this so as you can see it's quite green um, also, there are bits with quite a lot of twigs. It's sometimes not always uh, very fine. So it gets tipped in a form like this. It's quite fine, mostly quite fine. Um, it's quite, uh, because you don't know what you're gonna get, it does tend to be quite uh, diverse. And um, I shall get my fork out and we'll have a dig on the other side where it's a little bit older. The whole heap's been here for about two years. It gets continuously added to, stirred with the JCB. Uh, smells lovely. We do put up some straw on it as well. So it's a very diverse um, pile. So because it's um, uh, turned quite so often, it is difficult to find a chunk that is, uh, is an original chunk that's been here from the beginning, but this probably is as good as any. And as you can see, it's quite moist. Nice worm, it's there. Uh, that's a chunk of muck in there. I would say that, yeah, look, you can, it, the water's just coming out. Sorry, Mr. Worth, worm probably squeezed you. Um, so, but it's a lovely dark, it's lovely and dark. Um, and pl still plenty of uh, wood chip to let the air flow through it. So um, this is probably what we're aiming for. Not that big chunk, but uh, nice and dark and varied. Um, if we, that's an interesting chunk down here that I would probably say you need to have a from our experience, 
plenty of muck in, in it. I'm thinking, I have seen people say 50-50, but I don't know, yeah, I guess that's probably about right. 50-50 by weight would be about right. So, um, just look at all these worms. Look at that. So, um, yeah, really nice diverse compost so this will go on some thin soils some thin chalk soils and uh, we'll see how it goes so building on our experimental plots this is a our own in-house compost and it's mixed it's trying to access as much variable sources of organic matter and within that um, so we've got wood chip here. We've got uh, this is uh, I'm just saying this sort of pig muck over the top. So this is some grass from some environmental schemes from last year. We just cut and cut that. Uh, again, more wood chip, more more pig muck. As we go round. Um, pig muck's quite a challenge. Um, trying to it was delivered in winter in the wet and so we tried to mix it with wood chip not making an effort to sort of mix it through that'll be done by the compost turner and then down here we've got some more straw base with some wood chip in it um, and some muck in with the with the I think that is uh, turkey litter turkey straw with some wood chip on top and again pig muck turkey and wood chip so the idea is that the whole of this uh, pile will then get turned with the compost turner to try and produce something that's a bit more consistent this is more bulk but it is building on our ex experiences with w uh, wood chip and uh, a muck mixes which we which I showed you earlier okay so the final version of the composting system is a Johnson Sioux uh, bioreactor so it's built around an IBC we've got two these are filled with kitchen waste and uh, leaves uh, lawn clippings they have been turned once so we empty them out onto the ground uh, mix them up aerate them and put them back in so that's happened once i've also um filled them full of worms i had to say we did put it inside to try and keep it a little bit dry during the winter uh, which was probably an error it could probably be uh, wetter it's it's not very moist but inside it's not too bad now, the point about this would be, this is my highest quality uh, compost. If I was going to do a compost extract, then I would use this material here. It's the most diverse and uh, probably the best prepared, but uh, I'm not quite in that position yet. It's a big step as well but it is a way that enables you to leverage quite a small production amount to in order to cover a, a large area so this would be in my highest quality compost so it fits into the range of, of different production methods <laughs>